What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite lead generation strategies using a tool called PygumBot. Okay, so if you've been on my channel before, you know that I love this tool. I use it literally every single day. It's part of every marketing effort that I make um, because it's so efficient and it's one of those things where the more you use it, the better it gets because you build up a list over time and you learn more about it because it's fairly complex. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate lots of leads using Yahoo. Okay, I've made a video already about um, scraping yellow pages, which I'll show you guys, or I'll link to that in the description. But this is about how to generate leads on yahoo.com. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do when you want to scrape for certain keywords is you want to pick the search engine, okay? So we're gonna pick Yahoo. I know you're probably thinking, well, why don't you pick Google? It's the best. Yeah, it's the best, but they also have like literally billions of dollars to make sure that people don't scrape Google with software like this. Uh, Yahoo, on the other hand, they don't care. Yahoo's like, you know, the girl in your town that like e lets everybody like have their way with her. Anyway, so what we're going to do after that, we're going to use the default footprint to search for contact page URLs. Um, you guys don't really need to know too much about what that does. Just just know to leave this the same way that it is. We're going to click this button, keywords with footprints, everything else we're going to leave the same. And then it's just a matter of adding a keyword list. So my favorite way to do this is to use the Google Keyword Planner. Right? So we're going to type in Google Keyword Tool. That is going to take us to this Keyword Planner. Uh, I believe my VPS is in Brazil, so this is in Portuguese. However, yours should be in English. Um, so let's just change that to English. Keyword planner, start using keyword planner. Oh, God damn it, so annoying. All right, I'll just use it on my normal computer. Uh, Google keyword planner. All right, oh, God damn it. <laughs> now it's in Thai, wonderful. United States English, baby, this is America. This is America, speak English. Okay, so how do you use this awesome tool? It's very simple, uh, as soon as it loads. All right, so for those of you who don't know, the Keyword Planner is a really cool way for you to get lists of keywords that um, you know, have certain stats based on Google. So let's say we want to scrape for chiropractors, okay? Chiropractor, back pain, spinal, I don't know, injury, right? Um, I have a campaign that I am running right now where I target chiropractors and trying to get them to hire me for marketing. So what I wanna do now is I want to get keywords that will, um, that I can scrape Yahoo for that will show up websites where I can then scrape the contact pages from those websites. So when we click this little box right here, it's going to give us 500 keywords. I could select the top, what is that, 2300, but let's take a look at these. See, these are all actually pretty good. Let me just scroll through these and see. Um, yeah, so there's not. I mean, there's a little bit of redundancy here, but I think that this is actually fine. I found that with medical niches, like uh, there tends to be less redundancy in the keywords because you have to think if you type in best chiropractor or if you type in spinal nerve injury, right? You might get a lot of the same results as like how to fix my spinal nerve injury or something like that, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to download keyword ideas and it will give us this CSV file. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to copy all of these. Control C if you're on a PC. If you're on a Mac, I have no idea because I don't use Macs. Um, then we're going to create a new document. We're gonna call it Cairo. We're going to paste those in there. Okay, and we're gonna delete these because those are not keywords that we want. And we're going to click on save. 
Now I will tell you one thing really quick. When, when you have general keywords in here like chiropractor, um, Yahoo won't return a lot of results because you'll get a lot of like Wikipedia entries. Um, so in general, I would want to say like, and it doesn't matter because we're scraping 500 keywords and at the end of the day, like this is going to run automatically. So like, you know, if, if a couple keywords don't return any results, like who cares? Because you're not looking at it anyway. It doesn't take any of your time. Um, but still, that said, uh, let's let's do, and I don't recommend that you do this. I'm just doing this so that you'll see best chiropractor Texas. All right, let's see if maybe that's a little bit more um, specific. That will give us a better result. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on add keyword list and we are going to find our document, Cairo. Okay, and then what we are going to do, we're gonna click on throttle scrape, okay? And basically what this is going to do is it's going to ask you how quickly, or how much time do you wanna wait in between uh, going to the next page of scraping these URLs? So we wanna do between two and three seconds. That should be fine for our purposes. And then you're just going to click start, OK? It's really that simple. And hopefully right here, we're going to see some results popping in. OK, cool. So it's working. Best Chiropractor Texas, contact pages found, already 20, OK? 30, 40, all right? So we're actually getting a lot of these, um, which is pretty cool. And that's it. That's how you scrape for data, right? Now, it's actually, even though all these boxes are checked, it's only scraping for contact page URLs. You'll notice that none of these, um, you know, these numbers are not going up, right? Another thing you'll see here, duplicate URLs. So we've got this box checked here where it says discard duplicates. Keep that checked because, like, we don't want duplicates, you know? We just, like, what's the point? Um, they're just not necessary. And that's basically it. You can see it's already on the second keyword. Um, I guess we did download all 2,000 of the keywords, even though you don't necessarily have to do that. But I think what I'll do is I'll probably let this run. I'll let it run for a few hours, right? You can see the duplicate rate is about 20%. So I'm expecting to maybe get around 20,000 contact pages out of this. Um, and that's basically it. You just like let this run and uh, I don't know, go get a cup of coffee or something. Anyway, that's how you want to generate leads with Pygambot. It's very fast, it's very easy. And um, you know, once you have those contact pages, you can contact these businesses with whatever your offer is. Cool, makes sense? Awesome, sweet. So if you guys like the video, click like. If you have any questions about how to use Pygambot specifically for your business, um, leave a comment, ask me, I'm happy to help you out. If you guys want to go try Pygambot, there's a link in the description where you can sign up. I think they have a free trial. Um, but even if they don't, it is totally worth it. Uh, it's the bomb. I've made a ton of money using it and i um, recommending it to you now. So click that link in the description if you want to see that. Make sure you subscribe from my channel for more. Peace.